the proxy object is very important feature of JavaScript. In this video, we are going to learn that why we need the proxy object and how we can use that. So proxy object allows you to add custom behavior to an existing object. And why you need to add custom behavior, we'll see that further in this video. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. Uh, this video is supported by Infragistics. Infragistics provides you beautiful UI controls and time-saving tools to speed up your development process. It has controls for WPF, Windows Form, ASP.NET, Angular, React, jQuery, etc. So please go ahead and visit infragistics.com to learn more about Infragistics. To understand why we need a proxy object, let us consider an object called product, which has two properties, ID and price. Now we can perform any operation on this uh, product object. For example, in line number six, I'm setting value of price to a negative value. Of course, JavaScript won't complain about that. But in a real scenario, price of a product should not be a negative value. Now to prevent it, you need to run some business logic while performing this operation. And you can run that business logic using the proxy object. Let us see some other scenarios where a proxy object could be useful. Uh, so right now on the product object, you do not have color property. But in line number nine, what I'm doing, I'm trying to read that. As I read it, again, JavaScript does not complain about that and I'm getting some value here. I can prevent this and throw some type error using the proxy object. Uh, let us say for the product object, you want to treat ID property as a private property of the object. What does it mean? That you should not able to uh, modify, read or write ID property outside the product object. But by default, JavaScript does not prevent you doing that because there is no concept of private property in JavaScript object. And you can very much go ahead and modify this to whatever value you want. And everything would work perfectly fine. Again, to make a property as a private property of, of an object, we need to run some business logic. And we can do that using the proxy object. So let us see that how we can prevent these operations and run a custom behavior on top of the product object using the proxy object. Next. So here uh, we are trying to perform a read operation on color property which does not exist on the product object. Now we can prevent it using a proxy object and to do that very first let us create a proxy object for the product and let's call it as proxy product and then use the constructor new product uh, sorry new proxy and it takes two input parameters in the constructor first is the name of the target object and second is the handler in this case our target object is the product object so we'll go and pass that here so this proxy proxy product would be applied to the product object now handler is the object uh, in which you'll be writing the business logic and here I have written a handler called product handler and inside the get operation we are checking that whether property exists on the object or not in line number 10 if it does return the value of that property otherwise return a type error so very simple object uh, which is trapping the get operation and modifying it and checking for the object existence in the uh, property existence in the object if it does not exist returning us a type error and we can pass this as a handler right here so what we have done in line number 15 we used a proxy constructor to create a proxy for product object and we are passing product as a target and product handler as a handler object now when you go ahead and run the read operation on any property uh, which does not exist in this case color and try to read that property using the proxy object you should get an error that hey color property does not exist let us run it 
and here uh, JavaScript is giving us error that color property does not exist. So as you see that how we can uh, prevent a reading of non-existing uh, property uh, using the proxy object. We can use proxy object for other purposes as well. For example, we should not able to set a value to a negative value, a, a price to a negative value. And we can, here we are able to set that to minus 10. Let us see that how we can prevent it uh, using the proxy object. To prevent a uh, price value to be set as a negative value, we need to write business logic in the set operation. So to perform any, uh, to run any business logic in the right operation, you need to write that inside the set trap. And if you wish to run a business logic uh, while reading a property, you should write that inside the get operation. So here uh, we can go ahead and uh, write business logic in the set like this. And let me uh, uh, walk you through the code. So in the set, uh, we are uh, again passing object, property and value uh, inside the function. And checking that if property is price, then checking whether that uh, value is an integer value or not. If it is not integer, then we are saying that pass value is not a number. And if it is a number, uh, then we are checking that whether that value is less than 50 or not. And this is uh, our custom logic that a price of a product should not be uh, less than 50. Uh, if it is uh, less than uh, uh, less than uh, 50, what we are doing, we are by default setting that value to 50 and then returning true. And eventually again, we are returning uh, true by setting the value uh, which is passed uh, to object uh, uh, price property. So again, what we have done for the set operation, uh, we are modifying it. Here we are checking that whether property is price or not. Uh, if property is uh, is price, then checking whether the past value is number or not. Uh, if it is a number, then checking whether it's less than 50 or not. If it is less than 50, setting the value default to 50 and, uh, and then returning true. So it's very simple. Now our handler uh, for the proxy has uh, uh, two uh, uh, custom behavior one on the gate operation that if a property does not exist it is showing you that um, and you are trying to perform a gate operation on non-existing property it is showing you an error uh, for the price property it is checking that if value is less than 50 uh, um, uh, it is uh, um, setting it to the default value of 50 so right here uh, if we run we are getting the error for the color as uh, um, as expected and I guess this comma we need to get rid of that uh, so if if I run it here uh, it is getting you that color property does not exist uh, great uh, now what I'm going to do let us go here and try to perform this uh, product dot price uh, operation and here now go and say that hey console dot log and try to print a value of price So we can, uh, now when you run this, you are getting that price 78. So far, so good. Now try to set the price value to a negative value. And again, try to read it. Now since minus 10 is less than 50, what proxy object will do? It will set its default value of the price to 50. Uh, next scenario is that how we can treat ID property as a private property of the product object such that we cannot uh, able to perform a read and write operation on the ID property. So to prevent uh, reading of ID outside product, what we can do, we can go to the handler and inside the gate trap, we can check that hey, if prop is ID what we want we don't want to read that value and for that in the a properties ID we are throwing an error that cannot access private property ID and if it is not a ID property we are performing other operations as usual so now when you uh, go ahead and try to uh, read the private property uh, ID uh, our handler will throw an error. So here, uh, 
in line number 37 we are trying to read id property and here we are getting that cannot access private property id so in this way we can uh, make a particular property as an uh, as a private property uh, to avoid setting it value we can go ahead and write business logic in the set operation so as you see that all these kind of requirements which we talked uh, like setting up making a property as a private property or uh, running a business logic such that you can set default value on a property etc uh, you can do that using uh, the javascript proxy object uh, which allows you to run business logic while performing uh, basic operations on object like property lookup set get and enumeration keep in mind that proxy object was included in uh, ES6. Uh, so I hope uh, you find this uh, video useful and uh, you are going to use proxy object uh, now on uh, in your uh, project. Uh, thanks for watching it.